The next step to creating the rest of the details on your capsule is to decide what features from your rough draft drawing you want to include. Remember that doors and windows were required to be demonstrated somewhere on the capsule. So you need to pick up your capsule and kind of look and decide where do you want those located. You could draw those designs into the surface if you want them to just be carved in or you could then take a knife and cut out the shape of your door or window. And this is easier now that your clay is leather hard because your project has dried um, for a couple of days over the weekend. So it's going to be easy just to kind of cut that shape out wherever you decide to put it. And then I would rotate your castle and look at it from all angles and decide where else should you have windows and doors. Okay, um, so I want this um, piece where the bridge is going to be like a drawbridge that's coming out um, from a doorway. So I'm going to kind of sketch that in first. And then I'm going to cut this away. But when I cut it, I have to remember that I have a bottom slab down here. So I'm not going to cut through the very bottom slab. I'm just going to start above that when I first do my cut at the base. And then you might keep this piece to become the drawbridge that is folding down and then lifting up to close again. Um, so I am going to keep this piece. I'm just going to kind of round that bottom edge out so it kind of lines up more with the side of my castle. And then you might take your finger and kind of smooth these edges. Um, you could leave it like this or you could put details around the edge where maybe you create a frame out of clay. So I could take this piece that I cut out and I could trace that onto another slab of clay and then this might become the piece that is going to frame it. So I'm going to draw around that first line and then I can cut this piece out. I'm going to cut the inside piece out. And then I'm left with this shape and I could create texture across this or maybe this looks like it's made from bricks. Anytime I do texture, I don't want to use the knife because it's going to cut too deep. Um, so I just might use my ink pen, but I don't want to press super hard and cut through the clay just deep enough to kind of see that design. So then what I could do so I could lay this castle down and because the clay is leather hard, it's going to keep its form. And then I could score slip stick smooth this to the outside. So I am going to do that. I'm going to get my bowl of water, my toothbrush. I'm going to brush where it's going to attach. And then I'm going to turn my clay over, brush the back of that piece. Make sure you see the score marks and that it's looking slimy from the water to create the slip. And then I like to kind of put my finger on the inside of the clay piece as I press down on the outside just so I don't accidentally collapse a wall. So you can imagine doing something similar with a window um, where you create a frame around it as an idea. And I'm squeezing this pretty good to make sure it's stuck on there. Okay, um, my design uh, has a cone roof to it. So I'm going to show you how to do a cone roof for those of you wanting a cone roof. I'm going to set my castle to the side. Then you're going to need to roll a slab of clay big enough to fit this stencil that kind of looks like Pac-Man. And I'm going to cut this stencil out 
and then once this is cut out, you can pick it up and then fold it over and where it overlaps is where you can score and slip and then you can see it's starting to make a cone that becomes like a lid to my castle top. So if you want your cone to be even taller and pointier, then you just need to cut another section away from that clay so that when it overlaps and you connect, it starts to stand up taller. So I'm gonna take my toothbrush, I'm gonna score and flip, score and flip, stick these together and then I can always do some trimming and when I smooth, I can smear this clay to kind of cover this seam. And that's the beginning of my cone. So I might texturize it to start to look like it's made of straw. If you're gonna use um, the needle tool, just be very careful that you're not cutting through the clay. Uh, there's lots of tools in the bucket that you could experiment with to create texture with. So I'm going to do this on all sides. And I'm being careful not to cut through my clay as I do this. I'm using really, really, really soft hand pressure. But you might experiment with your own tools. So this would be an example of a cone top for the castle. Um, then I will show you um, how you could do extra features like this one might have a balcony wrapped around it. So I'll show you how to do that um, next. Alright, if you want to make something like a balcony that's wrapped around the castle, um, here's how you can start to create that. You're going to need a roll of slab of clay and then use a larger size circle stencil. This one is a yogurt cup lid. So this is going to be the foundation of my balcony. And then I'm going to need a long skinny slab of clay that's going to become the wall pieces um, that's wrapped around my balcony. So I already wedged this, I've already kind of smushed it to be more long and skinny um, and then I'm going to continue to roll this piece of clay out. And I don't need to make it any wider because um, the wall is just going to be a short wall because it's just a balcony wall. But I do want to roll this until it reaches uniform thickness. And I'm just going to kind of look for air bubbles along the way. Okay, so I'm going to start with using my blue wall stencil as a guide. So this is not going to fit that entire circle. So I can um, roll my, my slab even longer, so maybe it needs to be, I don't know, this much longer on the end. Um, so I'm going to set my blue stencil down, and I'm just going to cut along one of the straight edges. And then I'm going to add to it. I'll roll that down a little longer. Okay, so then I'm just going to move my stencil up or down the clay, and I'm going to add a section there. So now I've got this really long slab of clay. Then I need to decide how tall I want that balcony and I maybe only want it as tall as a ruler is wide across. So I'm going to set my ruler along the edge of my clay to cut the other side. I'm going to have to move this around the table. Okay, so this piece has now become the wall that is going to wrap around my slab here. So you can see I rolled that plenty long. Um, so I might texturize this first before I do score slip stick smooth. I could use 
some of my Lego pieces to do that. Use this one, maybe a skinnier one, um, to make some brick texture in here. And then uh, I'm going to score slip stick smooth, just like I did the castle on the base when I built my castle. And then I want to decide, do I want the battlement edge along my wall? And this one I am going to do because that was definitely a line of defense. Um, that was the whole point of the balcony, was so that the archers could shoot from behind the tall spots in the wall and be... Uh, or they could hide behind the tall spots and then shoot out from the low spots. So I'm going to remove every other spot here. Okay. All right, so now I am ready to attach this. So now I need to score slip stick smooth. So I'm going to wrap this brush around my circle and then I need to brush at the bottom edge of the inside and I'm just going to wrap this around now I'm sticking and pressing down hard enough to make sure it's attaching at the base and now I can take my knife and I can cut away the extras That. So I'm going to keep this tall piece here and get rid of the other segments. So now I need to brush here, brush here, and stick it all together. Okay, so now I just built this segment that is going to become my balcony. So it's basically a really, really, really short version of a castle. But what I'm going to be doing is attaching that in between a layer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully cut away this section. and I'm going to save that top piece. And now I'm going to attach the balcony over the top of my base and then I'm going to reattach the top of the castle there. So that's how I've just built um, the little balcony edge. So I'm going to get my toothbrush, I'm going to brush the top edge and then I'm just going to be generous and I'm going to brush all across the bottom area here because I'm not quite sure where it's going to touch so I'm just going to scrub it all and I'm going to stick and I'm going to get down low on the table and I want to kind of make sure it's even on all sides and then I'm just going to kind of press down to make sure it's sticking to the wall and then I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to brush on the inside top edge, brush on the bottom edge here, and I'm going to stick it together. So you can get creative with what you might add to your castle in terms of doors, windows, balconies, um, separate edges. And then I'll show you how we do the base in a later video.